the bills to be brought to him. It will, if the government wants any uh, legislation, first there must be a cabinet memorandum. That matter is discussed in the cabinet. The cabinet then approves it. It goes to the Attorney General, who then now uh, complete the bill, the, 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 the draft bill which has passed by the cabinet, is then given to the leader majority, who now comes and tables it before the House. That is how the uh, civil and parliament work. So this law, which is supposed to be initiated by the president through the speaker, is null of an issue. Null and, and void and should not be accepted by parliament. And our advice is that our members of parliament should not accept to de deliberate those, the, 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 the legislation. The other one is saying that these members who have defected from a Zimio coalition need to resign yes. their positions <laughs> and go. Then secondly, you see a new dangerous phenomenon developing that members of parliament are approaching the executive supposedly for development in their constituencies. Under our current constitutional dispensation, the resources are being actually uh, uh, allocated by parliament. Parliament is the one that the, the, the executive comes with a budget proposal to parliament Parliament looks at that budget proposals and then agrees on how to allocate resources. So the days when members of parliament used to go and see Mutukupurais Nyayo at home only to idea CC, to let them Pradi Maja Hapa, to Jenga locals housing Zia Hapa, Barabara Yi to Tanganezwa, Kwana Pika Magoti Chini Korais and let them Nelo Imikwisha. That era is gone. You don't need. If you want to go and see Mr. President as a person of pending status, go. But if you want to go and talk about issues that affect the party, then you must be given permission by the party before you go to see the president. What you see, these people must be seen for what they are, traitors yes. in the course of a revolution. We are in the course of a very serious issue. What we have through here is uh, the cost to bring the people of Kenya at the center of development of our country and also to get electoral justice. They have said these people are not fair losers. But I want to tell you, and they're saying, oh, Baba had allowed people to go and meet with the president here and there. Now he's saying he does not recognize the government. No, what I've said, I never said that I was recognizing the government even at that time. But that was a time also before the whistleblower came out with a glaring evidence, which we also had ourselves. That evidence was available to us. But the whistleblower came out as an insider and came out with a repeatable evidence of the rigging of the elections. That information which is there, I want to invite you to know, is information that is verifiable. We had ourselves also hired an expert from outside the country. You remember we were in the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court our lawyers demanded that we be allowed access to the server so that we can be able to get authentic information. The Supreme Court said they agreed, but the collusion of one of the judges who was in charge of the ICT, the registrar did not allow our people access to the server. Our experts were there. A letter came from the company that was offering, the, the, providing the services, Smartmatics, saying that they cannot allow access to the server because that would infringe on their property rights. Here is a company hired by the government paid to provide the technical services for the, the, the country. 
and there's a dispute over the results.